Hello and welcome back to Prison Architect. Previous episode, we made this yard. Looks good. Perfect yard. 10 out of 10. Right? So let's look at this 10 out of 10. So perfectly. And we got this perimeter wall. So uh, what we can do this episode is we can take in some prisoners. Because we got the perimeter wall. So they can't escape. And that's good. But before we take in some prisoners, what I want to do is I actually want to build a little intake area. So that's what I'm going to do first. And after I built that intake area, we're going to take in some prisoners. And then we're going to, you know, handle the different needs of our prisoners. So uh, I actually want to make two perimeter walls or multiple perimeter walls. I want each prison section to have a perimeter wall. And I also want a huge perimeter wall outside of my prison and this was actually a little bit of a mistake i built it way too far away i should have just built it like around here so here we go that's the intake room uh, and then you just uh, the reception and then we go like this and then we see an office desk is needed we need a chair need the table that's it so prisoners can come here they can take off their clothes put it on the table and uh, you know they will get registered here and everything will be fine and dandy and we can catch contraband before it comes in the prison so that's what we want and what I also want is put a secure door on this perimeter wall and the next thing that I want to do is I want to build like a fence around here I can put some doors also put a door here so only staff can go through that door so the prisoners have no business going through that door and the prisoners can only go through like this so through the reception uh, but the prisoners should not have any business on this side so they should not be going through there at all and what we need next is like a metal detector there we go also get the metal detector and uh, it should be good enough so this is it it's not secure at all but it is good enough for now I think it won't cause any it, co it won't cause uh, too much trouble. Um, and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to fill this to capacity. And I only want to take a medium security. Medium security are really nice because they have a good balance with money you get versus uh, the trouble they give. They won't cause too much trouble, but they give a nice cash payment when you take them in. And their daily cash flow is also really nice. The next thing that we have to look at is the regime. So I think I did this already. Uh, yeah, I did this already. So I gave them 10 hours of sleep. Because that's something they want. Uh, if you go to... So if you go to the grading in the logistics and medium security, I think these are all the same. Yeah, so this is a shared area. So uh, they give all the same information. But if you go to the grading, you see that... Uh, you know, to get a better grading, they want 10 hours or, or more sleep. They want hot showers, a common room, shop access, gym access. We might do these later. Work access, education program. Yeah, we will all do all of that stuff later. Uh, yeah. So. Uh, so they want 10 hours of sleep. And that's why I gave them 10 hours of sleep. And they have some free time, so they can wake up, they can go to the toilet, they can go to the bathroom, eat for two hours. Because usually before they even reach the canteen, it is taking an hour, so they have one more hour to eat. Some work, and blocks of three. Or free time, if you don't want to work. Uh, and blocks of three, because I think most work takes three hours. And then, again, eat... Then you can have a little bit of free time after that. And then before we forget, I should also get some 
kitchen stuff. So some cooks one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. So if, uh, once our prisoners arrive, and they uh, they will come at midnight, and once they make uh, wake up, they can have a hot meal. That's what we want. I also want to handle the deployment of the guards. And after the prisoners come, I will just do the deployment of the guards. Uh, so we will see. Let, let's just first take these guys in. I actually want to get some more guards. Let's get like... Uh, let's get 10 even. One guard for each prisoner. <laughs> uh, why is he black? Why does he have a black... Why does he have black clothing? That's weird. Some of these are really ugly, man. These uh, custom ones are really ugly. I like, I like the simple ones. This guy is also like really ugly. And what you also can do is you can actually take a look at their stats or their characteristics. And uh, I'm not seeing any gang members yet. There we go. They go to the intake area. They will be searched. They will get a new prison uniform. And one person found has some drugs. Sir, you can't have drugs in prison. No, sir. Uh, yeah, so let's handle the deployment actually. So uh, I need one guard assigned to this place because. Uh, that person needs to open these doors. I'm going to automate those doors, but uh, not right now. So if you take a look at the regime, you will see that from 11 p.m. to 8 a.m. they are in their cells and they're sleeping. Do we need someone in the canteen when the prisoners are sleeping? No. Do we need someone in the yard when the prisoners are sleeping? No. Uh, we will always need someone in uh, a cell block. I would like that, but we don't need them to be in the yard or the canteen when, when they're sleeping. If they are eating, we will need more people in the canteen, so we might get two. So we can, according to the hour of the day, we can have a different deployment schedule. And that's what I want to do. So, uh, so we got from nine, so from 9 to 10, we will have a different uh, deployment schedule. And then 11 and 12 a.m. p.m. We will have uh, also a different deployment schedule. And then 7, 8 p.m. We will also have different deployment schedule. So this at night, where do I want them at night? I always want uh, one... Uh, guard that's gonna be here because someone needs to open the doors and I also always want someone in a cell block from 9 to 10 what I want is I want someone also in the yard and one person also in the canteen so there we go so if you look at this at 9 p.m. new guards will be deployed and then from 2 or uh, when they're eating, I want two people in the canteen and one person in the yard. And that's also why I take in the prisoners at night. Because uh, the least amount of guards will be deployed in, at, in, in the night. And this way the prisoners will be taken in faster. So we might even get this back to one clock so they have a little bit more time to take in the prisoners and I think yeah the prisoners are in their beds they're sleeping and we will see how it goes you know okay we got the first death <laughs> yeah we don't have an infirmary so we got our first death uh yeah we can't do anything about that except build an infirmary holy crap man that went fast. This guy also overdosed. So I don't know where the drugs is coming from. And this is like crazy, dude. 
yeah, we can help you. So it's going pretty well. You know, their needs are fulfilled. They have some, they have like spirituality needs. Uh, this guy has alcohol needs. But, you know, it looks good in my opinion. So what I can do is I can build a second prison block. I want to build a second uh, prison block. So you can flip it with F. But when you flip it with F, it becomes blocked. Yo, this game has some... I don't know if I should call them bugs, or I don't know what the hell this game has. But it's, sometimes it's really, really annoying. I'm just gonna place it like this then. Uh, yeah, should be good. So let's build that one as well. Let's take in some more prisoners. Oh, and there we go. It took like quite a bit of time, but it's finally done. And the only thing we need to do is only connect these hot water pipes and it's completely done. So we can also take in uh, 20 prisoners now. Um, I'm going to do the next episode though. That's not something for this episode. As you might see, the prisoners are also starting to complain about, uh, about clothing. And it's also getting real dirty. Look at this. It's disgusting. So what we're going to do maybe next episode is we're going to build like a cleaning cupboard, a laundry room, a library maybe. And, uh, you know, other stuff like that that uh, fulfills the needs of these prisoners. And for now, what I actually want to do is I still... Because that's also... Something that really annoys me is that it does not copy the pillows. So we have to place the pillows ourselves. So and now it's done. Now it's uh, perfect. And, uh, you know, that's it for this episode. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like. Also leave a comment. Comments really help with the algorithm. And subscribe if you don't want to miss the next episode. And... Uh, Thank you guys for watching. Bye bye.